Hello, welcome to today's video where we will be demonstrating how to upgrade the firmware, BIOS and CIMC version on a unified computing system C-series rack mount server. In just three easy steps we can achieve these upgrades. Firstly, we need to download the firmware version from Cisco.com. Secondly, we need to map the software to the KVM console and finally, we need to press upgrade all when logged in to the KVM console to allow the upgrade to take place. So firstly, we need to download the firmware from software.cisco.com forward slash download. And then we need to ensure that we are logged in Once this is done, we then need to select Servers Unified Computing, which will lead us to a list of management platforms. And the one we want to select is Cisco UCS C Series Rack Mount Standalone Server Software. This will direct you to a list of servers. Please select the one that is right for you. In our case, we want to select Cisco UCS C220 M3 rack server software. Then select Unified Computing System Server Firmware, which will direct you to a list of firmware and software options. In this case, we will be selecting this version of firmware to download. Please add this to cart and download to somewhere that you can easily find. Now that the file is saved onto your PC, we are ready to log on to the CIMC and begin the upgrade. Begin by typing the IP address of the server's CIMC into a web browser. Please proceed through the necessary steps and accept the certificates. Then log on. While you log on, please make a note of the current version of firmware that you are running. So in this case, it is version 1.5. So once you are logged in, you should see this summary page. Please launch KVM console to begin the process. To begin the installation and the upgrade, we need to firstly power off the server. Once this is done, which will usually take between 10 to 15 seconds, we then have the option to power the server back on. The boot up process will usually take between 30 to 40 seconds before we need to then access the boot up mode. Once you receive this screen, we then need to press F6 to open boot selection menu. Once the server has entered the boot selection menu, we need to choose the option 
Cisco V KVM mapped DVD. This will then load up the new file. After several minutes of boot time, you should see this screen appear on your PC. Once the server has rebooted fully, you will then be presented with a Cisco software license agreement page. Please select I agree. The next page you will see should display different options for you to upgrade, namely the CIMC version and the BIOS version. In this instance, we want to go ahead and update all. Please select yes, yes again, and no to enable the CIMC secure boot. This will then begin the upgrade process. So as you can see, this process is well underway. It may take up to 15, 20 minutes for all the firmware to be upgraded. I will fast forward to the next step. Once the upgrade process has taken place, you will actually lose connection to the terminal and to the server. What we then need to do is close, log out of the CIMC, and then log back in again. Please now make a note of the version of firmware that is running. After logging back in, we should be able to see that the firmware has been upgraded and we are now running the new version. This is the case. The software upgrade is now complete. That concludes today's session. I hope you found it useful and you are able to successfully upgrade your UCS C-Series rack mount server. For more information or for more videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Cisco CPOC. You can do this by either searching for Cisco CPOC in YouTube or by entering the URL given below. Thank you for watching.